here's a little branch from Pinus quadrifolia. Here's a branch from Pinus monophylla. This first branch has four needles in the bundle. Four needles in the bundle. Its cousin, the single leaf pinion. Only one needle to the bundle. From a distance, you really can't tell. But up close, it's quite obvious this is a single needle in a bundle. And this is four or five or three, sometimes two, in a bundle. So on your right is Pinus quadrifolia. On the left, Pinus monophylla. Two closely rated pines in the transition zone in the pinyon juniper woodland of eastern San Diego County. Both pinyon pines like to be in dry, arid, decomposing granite soil. Another name for the transition zone is the pinyon juniper woodland. And by the name, you can infer that there must be pinions and junipers. So right behind me is one of the junipers in this area that is, in combination with this pine tree, uh, very common. Just to the south, 10 miles, 30, 40, 50 miles, on the La Ruma Rosa Plateau, in an area called Sierra Juarez, is another pine tree. It's the granddaddy of this pine. It's called Pinus Juarezensis, named after the mountains. And it's a five-needled pine with five needles. You can find in that area Pinus Juarezensis with 95% of their bundles, the needle bundles, in, uh, in fives. This tree here, I haven't checked it out, but it has many needles in fours. Maybe half of this tree has needles in fours. Pinus quadrifolia, its distribution in California is a cluster in Riverside County on the dry hillsides facing deserts, and right here in the San Diego area on the eastern slopes of mountain deserts, and then further south into the dry, arid deserts and high deserts of uh, Baja California. This is Muller's Oak, but what we're in really interested in here is this pinyon tree, Pinus monophylla, or Pinus monophylla, named for a single needle. The range of this single leaf pinyon is clear up on the eastern escarpment of the Sierras and then the various mountain ranges down to where we are in San Diego and further south into Baja. Here in the late spring or early summer on single leaf pinyon are male cones. They produce a pollen that goes all over the place and hopefully locates a female cone, which I can't see right now, and pollinates and ultimately becomes the seeds within the cone. Here's a female cone, fairly small, a little bit bigger than a golf ball. You can also see on my hands goo, sap, very resinous, lots of resin produced by this pine tree. The seeds are large, the cones are small. The pine nut, you notice the sap all over my hands, major sticky. While I was handling the tree and the cones, the resinous glands uh, were producing goo. It ended up on my hands. Now the Indians were a lot smarter than I. They had tongs and picked up the cones on the ground after they'd knocked them from the tree and put them on a bed of hot coals. 
coals, the heat from the, not the fire, the heat from the coals would open the cones, the seeds would pop out, they would then collect the pine nuts uh, so they wouldn't have to haul that extra weight uh, long distances. They used the nuts to eat and they also used the nuts to trade. Pine nuts by the Indians, not all gooey like uh, this uh, white boy here. Two closely rated pines in the transition zone in the pinyon juniper woodland of eastern San Diego County, near the desert in the mountains. Both pinyon pines like to be in dry, arid, decomposing granite soil. 